Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like a lot of the coins that had been trading in the range, um, and, and this kind of goes, um, uh, you know, along with what we were saying about this whole reaccumulation phase, we're, we're selling at a loss. So as people who bought at higher prices, we're selling at lower prices. Um, and, and so, you know, to me, that was, that was just, once again, evidence of the fact that, you know, it was younger market participants, newer market participants um, that were selling while you had these strong hands that were coming in and buying the coins and were offsetting, um, you know, the, the selling from those from those weak hands. And it was just a matter of, you know, when that when that process uh, completed. But, you know, it looks like now after trading in, in um, you know, a, a long range of, of uh, you know, net losses being realized. We're actually starting to see net profit being realized, which is, you know, which is, of course, a, a positive thing because, you know, uh, investors are in profit again. Um, and, and so, you know, they're, they're more likely not to, um, you know, uh, capitulate. Right. So the, the other way to the other way to think about it is like you, you don't want, you know, as soon as we just start to have, you know, a, a bounce, you don't want to just see long term investors that have been holding off in this range just all of a sudden start you know dumping their coins, you know, just looking for some kind of exit liquidity. Um, and, and so to me, like. This is not alarming necessarily, but I just wanted to take it a step further. So, like you had, you had two two point four billion dollars of, of realized profit on Tuesday, but I wanted to see, you know, is that coming from people that had bought lower in the range, right, or is it coming from, you know, longer term investors that were just looking for some kind of dead cat bounce and, and exit liquidity to, you know, move out and then, you know, they, they think that the market's bearish, um, and so of course you want to kind of follow what the smart money is doing. And so just like looking into this a step further, looking at the average age of the coins being sold, um, you know, that's that's still just kind of sideways and the overall trend of that is down. So, you know, it's still younger and younger coins overall being sold. Actually, on Tuesday, when we had that large um, you know, event of, of realized profits, the, the average age of coins actually trended down. So to me, this is showing that, you know, it's it, it it's people that bought in this range, I don't know, maybe in the in the low 30s. Right. And, and so they're now kind of. Um, like pulling some chips off the table at, at the top of the range, because we still are technically um, in this 30, 40 K range. Um, and then, you know, just to take it a step further, aside from just the average age of the coins, you can actually look at by, by age cohort, um, you know, how much selling has come from the, from those different ages. So like, you know, uh, an hour, you can look at coins, um, you know, between seven and 10 years, between a year and two years, et cetera. Um, and so looking at, you know, coins between one week and, and three months, you saw this huge spike in that as well on Wednesday. So, um, you know, obviously in the last three months, pretty much we've been in this range, um, you know, between between the last week and three months. So to me, that that's indicating as well that a lot of the selling on Tuesday was coming from uh, people in the range once again.